Good morning, everyone. Today we are here at Kennedy Space Center for the Crew Dragon SpaceX launch. Um, now today, all day Friday, we're gonna be checking out uh, Kennedy Space Center, uh, going out to the VAB, checking out the launch pad, probably getting a close-up view of the rocket. Um, so a lot of cool things in store. So stay tuned, we got some cool stuff coming. You're going to notice a portion of the American flag in the full size uh, painted on the ground here. So that gives you kind of a size and scale of what it is. We could, if we wanted to, drive a car down one of the stripes of the flag. Our first stop is the massive, massive vehicle assembly building. actual mobile launch platform you can see the blast holes where the flames came through So, you know, we're used to seeing the vehicle assembly building from miles and miles away. So you don't really ever get to completely grasp how massive this building is. And we're right inside of it. It's a long way up. Um, I was blown away at how big this building really is. It looks this big when we're watching rocket launches and whatnot from across the river. Um, but once you're inside, it's just, it's massive. There's one, two, three, and four firing rooms inside. That is where launch control is performed from. So for the SpaceX launch that is happening on tomorrow morning, they will be using one of the firing rooms in here. It'll have NASA and SpaceX personnel side by side working together to make it work. If you look, we are going to head on out to pad 39B out here, which is going to be the launching pad for the space launch system. Uh, heading up the ramp to launch pad 39B. These are the massive lightning rods that they have surrounding the launch pad so we're now at launch pad 39b this is crazy this is where they launch space shuttles the rockets everything check out the view that's where the crawler comes up comes up the pad comes over here and stops right there at launch pad 39b this is the actual uh flame chute for launch pad 39b right here um you can see the main pipes right here and then all these little things on top water is going to shoot up out of there um and they use the water for sound suppression um so it doesn't rattle the entire launch pad and uh cause damage to it this one is specifically installed for the new sls launch system um uh, before they could move it uh, you know, reposition it. Uh, this one is permanently installed. They can't move it. So really cool. And these massive tire, blah, these massive towers surrounding pad 39B are basically giant lightning rods. There's one there, there's one there, and then there's one over here. That way the launch pad doesn't get struck by lightning. Cause we all know Florida is the, uh, lightning capital of the world and said it strikes it'll strike one of these three towers so right over my shoulder right there is pad 39a and that's where the uh, spacex crew capsule and falcon 9 are sitting ready for uh, launch tomorrow late tonight so you know those massive really cool close-up shots that you see of the shuttle launch on tv and such this is one of those massive cameras So here's another angle of the uh, flame trench that I just told you about. It deflects the flames down in this massive trench and goes all the way out there. And this is the launch pad right here where the SLS will be eventually be sitting. You see the uh, big liquid hydrogen gas chamber over there that used to supply fuel for the shuttle. 
they're actually building a brand new one over here for the SLS system, which is gonna require a lot more gas. So now we're checking out the plant lab, all sorts of cool veggie stuff going on in here. All these different chambers, all sorts of different experiments on plants and how the, uh, the atmosphere of outer space uh, contributes to their growth, water, uh, all sorts of really cool stuff. Veggies. Arcelite. It's a baked clay substrate. It's like what you find in a baseball diamond. It's not reusable. It's heavy. You use it once, you've got to throw everything away. Not the kind of situation you want to get in when you're trying to ship mass far away from the earth. So we're trying to figure out how do I go from something that's non-sustainable, non-reusable, into something that's reusable. Uh, the first ideas that we started experimenting with were replacing that disposable material with 3D printed substrate that the plants can grow right in. Again, the challenge in microgravity is getting air and water to the root zone in the right amounts. So the 3D printed substrate allows, it's, it's hydrophilic um, polymer, so it allows water to be pulled up at the vertices of the triangle, so it's got a pulling force, the roots can access the water, the centers of the triangle remain open, so that's where the plants can get. So our next stop is the famous countdown clock, which right now is currently sitting at T minus three hours for the launch later tonight, early Saturday morning for the Crew Dragon. So to kind of give you an idea of where the, uh, the launch clock is, that's the VAB, obviously. And over here are all the uh, press buildings and such. And then the actual launch pad is right there. And that's where the Crew Dragon sits for the launch early Saturday morning. Um, but a very significant doorway. Uh, this is where pretty much all the astronauts uh, come walking out and head out to the, uh, when they headed out to the space shuttle um, and all the other programs. So a lot, of, a lot of important people have walked through this door.